Today I would also though like to recognize the brave men and women in our intelligence community. It has become fashionable today to question their efforts in defense of this nation. And let me tell you something, the intelligence officers who question the terrorists can be proud of their work and their results because they prevented the violent deaths of thousands of innocent people. The information obtained from Khalid Sheikh Mohammed alone, the mastermind of 9-11, prevented multiple plots to kill Americans. George Tenet, CIA director, under both Presidents Clinton and Bush, said, I know that this program has saved lives. I know we've disrupted plots. I know this program alone is worth more than the FBI, CIA, and NSA put together. And we should be giving them a pat on the back and not, and not debate punishment and prosecution. Amen. Amen. Some members of Congress are no notorious for demanding that they be briefed on the most sensitive programs. They support them privately and then head for the hills in the first sign of controversy. And when the Speaker of the House, the number three in line of succession to the President of the United States under the Constitution, calls these patriots liars. I cannot sit back idly. I must stand up to defend them. And defend them, I will. In spite of the many issues that uh, separate Americans politically, we are united as a nation in support and appreciation for our courageous American soldiers. And we honor their commitment and our common cause as Americans this weekend. And today we have a new generation of greatness. As we gather here today, thousands of young men and women are in Iraq and Afghanistan. I think the greatest honor I had as a member of Congress was to celebrate the 4th of July with them, the last 4th of July a trip to Afghanistan and to Pakistan. And I'm also proud that we in the Congress stood firm in our support of their mission and didn't give in to the drumbeat to those who cried for retreat and surrender. And as a result of that, our soldiers in Iraq will be able to come home proudly and with honor and with victory. Yes. Yes.